Hi everyone, welcome to Apple Tech page. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix iPhone or iPad keeps connecting and disconnecting from Mac. First, what you have to do is check your USB cable. If it's damaged, then try using a different cable. Then check your device's charging port. Remove the debris or dust using a new toothbrush. Make sure that your device is fully charged. If you are using non-Apple certified cable, defective or damaged cable, you may get accessory not supported error. Solution 1 is using activity monitor app. First, connect your iPhone or iPad to Mac. Then open activity monitor app by going to applications and utilities. Once the app is open, enter USBD in the search field. Left side corner, you can see into symbol. Click on it to force quit the process. You can also do same thing through terminal. First open the terminal app, then enter the following command and press enter key. Solution 2 is reset location and privacy. To do this, launch settings. Next tap on general. Scroll down the screen and tap on reset. Now tap on reset location and privacy. After that connect your iPhone or iPad to Mac. Once connected, it will ask you to trust this computer and confirm it. Solution 3 is restart your iOS devices and Mac. Turn off and turn on your iOS devices and Mac. Then connect your device to Mac again. Solution 4 is force restart. If you are using iPhone 8 and later models and iPad without home button, then quickly press and release the volume up button. Next, quickly press and release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until you see the app logo. If you are using iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, then press and hold the sleep or wake button and volume down button at the same time until you are getting the app logo. If you have an iPhone 6 and 6 Plus and iPad with home button, then do the following steps. Press and hold the home button and power button at the same time until you see the app logo. To force restart your Mac, press and hold the Ctrl plus Command plus power button together. Solution 5 is Reset NVRAM or PRAM. First, turn off your Mac if it's turned on. Now turn on your Mac by pressing the power button and immediately press and hold these 4 keys together. Option plus Command plus P plus R. Release these keys when you hear the startup sound for next time or when your Mac restarts. You have to wait until your Mac restarts. If you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe. 